Hundreds of years ago, when Ashes of Creation was first brought to our attention, something about an ever-evolving MMORPG in a time where MMOs were bad was very intriguing to many of us. And after years of development with no end in sight, Ashes of Creation could potentially be running into a huge problem. Now don't get me wrong, Ashes of Creation has the potential to be a huge hit for Intrepid Studios, but unfortunately, MMORPGs are games that are extremely time consuming and the more that are out there, the harder it will be for players to choose which one to stick with. And time is unfortunately not on Intrepid's side when it comes to competition, as the dawn of a new day for MMORPGs could nearly be upon us. I'm sure a lot of you are like me, sitting here staring at your Steam page and just waiting for that next MMO to pop up. Not knowing which of the old ones you're going to play today because, well, they all just suck. Soon, though, you may find you have the opposite problem and you're struggling to choose which one it is to play because we are about to hit a point where there are many great MMORPGs that you don't know which one you're going to dedicate your time to. You have Throne in Liberty, Pax Day, Archage 2, the Riot MMORPG, and quite a few more, some which could be very far out, while others, though, could sneak up on you sooner than you realize. But, are any of these actually a threat to Ashes of Creation? Let's start with Throne in Liberty, as this one is due out at some point in 2023, a brand new MMORPG originally built as a sequel to Lineage, a game that Ashes of Creation takes a ton of inspiration from. And although it's NCSoft, and the more details that pop up about it, the more disappointed I become, it is expected to have some form of pay to win as well, which while the majority of people will despise buys it, it will still manage to capture a small audience for those who want auto combat. Mobile gamers. Then there's Pax Day, an open world sandbox MMORPG with Alpha expected to start up at some point this year, where every building in the world is built by the players, and while sandbox MMORPGs tend to fail after a while as they're just pure chaos and people are building random stuff everywhere and the world is terrible, this could still be an MMO that beats Ashes of Creation to launch, and if they figure out a way to manage that chaos, this could be some very strong competition in the MMORPG genre. There is also the Riot MMORPG, and I don't mean that one set in the League of Legends universe, that is still many, many years out. There is another, an MMO FPS that Riot unintentionally leaked the other day that has all sorts of rumors coming out about it, including ones about Destiny 2 content creators being flown out to Riot Games to preview this MMO, which, if that's the case, well then this MMO could potentially be a lot closer than we think if Riot's getting ready to show it. And Riot Games has the money and it has the quality of devs to do MMO. MMOs right. They also have their League of Legends MMORPG that's going to come out eventually, and although we know nothing about this one, depending on how the Alpha 2 takes for Ashes of Creation, this could still show its face before Ashes of Creation releases. Not to mention other MMOs coming out in the future, such as Arc Age 2, which is expected to be out sometime next year, Palia, which is a more social MMORPG, Core Punk, a top-down action RPG style MMO, Chrono Odyssey, which was recently announced, a Lord of the Rings MMORPG that was just announced, developed by the New World team, and a Warhammer MMORPG that was also just announced. There has not been this many potential MMORPGs in development in a very long time that I can remember. And in a genre where 15 to 20 year old games are still owning the market, it is definitely time for some change. And with all these MMORPGs coming out in the future, whether that be before Ashes or after, it's going to create a lot of competition within that space, with a more variety of MMOs that appeal to different players. You're going to have some hardcore MMOs, you're going to have those pay to win MMOs that the western side of the world really likes. You're going to have the sandbox MMOs, the casual MMOs, all sorts of different types of MMORPGs for all sorts of different types of people. Ultimately, taking away from the amount of people who may have originally intended to set out to enjoy Ashes. Because let's face it, Ashes of Creation is not for everybody, and they are not trying to develop a theme park MMO. Steven Sharif will tell you this time and time again. Ashes of Creation is built as a PVX game that is very time consuming, has some very complex systems, and will not appeal to the masses of people that are really hoping to replace World of Warcraft. There are many different types of gamers out there, and what once felt unique about Ashes of Creation years ago may not be as original by the time it finally comes to light. There are games coming out ahead of it that could steal some players away, and there are games coming out after that could learn from Ashes' mistakes and improve upon these systems that Intrepid intends to give the players. And 
and while people may have time to commit to one or two, nobody is going to be actively playing every MMORPG that comes out at the same time and thrive in any of them, because that will take way too much time, and the more choices there are, the more potential of spreading out the genre there could be at times, that could take away from that once dedicated player base following Ashes of Creation that are now getting burnt out and want something to play as soon as possible. If you made it this far into the video, then you must be enjoying this content, so please help the channel out by clicking that subscribe button and hitting that thumbs up and comment down below if you feel with all the potential MMOs coming on the horizon, if any of them could be a threat to Ashes. Otherwise, if you are new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Vera. Otherwise, stay tuned for a lot more Ashes content to come.